Hello, this is Miss Grace, and in this week's video, we will be talking about the rainforest, and then um, we will go into the animal I chose for this. Um, but first, I will talk about what is the rainforest, so stay tuned. What is a rainforest? There are two types. There's tropical and then there's temperate. The temperate has less um, humidity and rainfall, but the tropical one has the most and it's basically just tall, tra tall trees with lots of rainfall for the tropical ones. The one I'm going to be talking about um, this, in this video and it is the Earth's oldest living ecosystem. Um, it has lots of animals such as birds, jaguars, reptiles, sloths, insects, gorillas. And also the reason why they're actually very important in this world is actually because they produce a lot of rainfall for the whole world. So without that particular um, origin right there in that little area, they would not the rainfall we see that helps out other animals or just so we won't have droughts helps out a lot to other parts of the world. So it's it's all it all connects, you know? It also stabilizes the climate as I was talking about. That's why they are referred to as the lungs of the planet. Um, and they help with the whole carbon dioxide, so the whole greenhouse effect, so there is less pollution. And of course, you know, the whole increase in humidity, so that rainfall, rainforests are extremely important to this world. <laughs> So the animal, the animal rainforest that I will be speaking about will be the poison dart frog. So these are amphibians, which are basically just cold-blooded um, vertebrates, which um, are such as toads and salamanders are also amphibians. And usually, what this means is that they have aquatic gills when they're in the larva state, in the water, in the ponds, you know. And then once they get older, they turn into these ter terrestrial um, adults with lungs, whole working lungs. <laughs> so that's basically what amphibian means. Basically native to the tropical and central and South America. And they're diurnal, which means that they mostly do everything in the mornings and afternoons, just like we do as humans. Um, and they are actually, one of the special things about them is their bright colors. Um, they're, that refers to their toxicity. So basically they're aposematic. What that means is that they, these type of colors warn or repel predators. It's type of like their defense mechanisms, which is pretty cool. Um, and I will explain more on that. So what they eat is basically just small insects like ants and termites. Um, they capture their prey by using their sticky tongue and then they also have retractable tongues. So you know, you, you've all seen the frogs go like that with the, when they're trying to catch the flies. So that basically that's what they do uh, in order to survive and eat. <laughs> they live um, in the rainforest floor or near streams and ponds. Um, some of them do live in trees, but usually the ones that live in trees don't rarely come down to the ground floor. So there's two types that live in separate um, from the high up trees to the bottom ground. Um, and these very gorgeous poison dart frogs actually come in many colors. Um, the most common ones that you will find would be like red, black, yellow, um, green, blue, copper, orange, silver. Sometimes you see pink ones. They mostly have like dots on them. So I will show you. This little prop here, this is my little froggy. So basically, this is your frog right here. You can see the little dots on that. This is not specifically a poison dart frog, but let's pretend it is. <laughs> and um, there's actually one that's extremely poisonous. Most of them are toxic, but they are not as harmful. But I will show a picture of one that is very common to be harmful to humans. So as I was saying before, um, these ones, as I was saying, they're not deadly. Most of these, they are very toxic. So the most of these could cause is swelling, nausea, or paralysis, which is also not good, but they don't really involve with death. The exception would be the golden poison frog, as the picture I showed you before. Um, they can kill up to 10 grown men. So that would be the only exception to these little creatures, amphibians. <laughs> So the reason poison dart frogs got their name would be because of the indigenous people of the of Colombia. Basically, they're what they would do uh, for survival mostly. Um, they would dip their tips of their blowgun darts. You've seen those little darts, and then they would like put the little from the skin of the um, frogs 
they were like smeared in there. And then when they were hunting, they would just like blow on it. And that's how they would, that's basically what they would use to hunt, basically. How we would go to the supermarket to buy our food, they would do that instead just to get their food. Another thing about these uh, creatures is that the poison depends on the diet. So normally in the um, rainforest, they would be toxic. Again, not deadly, but toxic. Um, but if you see these in the zoos or in other breeding areas, captivity, they are not toxic because it usually depends on their diet. So the rainforest has a unique, um, unique set of creatures that really enforces their, their toxicity. So if they don't have these certain types of insects or any other type of chemicals from those rainforests, they will not be toxic in those zoos or those captivity areas. Um, another thing about these little creatures is that they're very useful. Um, doctors are actually trying to see medicinal purposes for this, like benefits for them. So they're trying to modify these toxic little um, ingredients from these little frogs to turn and treat uh, pain, any heart issues or circulatory conditions. So that's one um, upside to this whole thing. I mean, sure they're deadly, but um, they're also useful for any issues we humans have. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed learning about the poison dart frogs from the rainforest, because I think these creatures are beautiful and they're very extraordinary, because not only are they just they actually benefit society if they can be made into um, medicinal purposes. So that's pretty cool. And also, one activity for this video, I'll put the link up there. But you're, I'm going to send a link where you can actually download this and print it out so you can make create your own poison dart frog. And I'll start mine in a few moments. But yeah, you can have this little activity as well and learn more about these amazing creatures. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, bye.